project for our video today is to pull and clean our through hole transducer. The transducer is an electrical component which is inside a hole in the hull of our boat. Uh, it provides us with speed through the water, water temperature, and depth. So unfortunately, being in Florida, we got our transducer gunked up quite a bit and it's not working like it properly should be. So our job today is to pull it out and clean it. Unfortunately, this means I'm pulling out a stopper in a hole in a hole in the hull of the boat and water is going to come up through the hole. So that's a little bit of a scary part there. Um, but we do have two things that are working for us. One is it's a self-closing valve on the transducer. And the second is that we have a blanking plug that we will replace the transducer with and that will completely stop water flow from coming in. So I'm a little nervous about this project because of all the water that's supposed to come in, but I'm looking forward to doing it and uh, hopefully we can get it clean and put back in place. Here we have our transducer. Um, it is a through hole transducer, so there is a hole, H-O-L-E, in the hole, H-U-L-L, -L, of our boat. This is the part right here that I need to pull out and clean. Uh, one of the first steps I've done, as you can see on this side, um, I have stuffed absorbent rags, they're actually called the absorber, like that. The absorber, like a superhero. Um, so these absorber rags will are stuffing the holes from this bilge to the next bilge over. So if I get a big water leak, um, it should not fill the entire hole of our boat. Um, I've got our blanking plug. I've got this stopper um, to use. It's called a stub plug. It grips something. Anyways, it's used to plug the hole if I have a problem. Um, I also have the Aramar instructions here. Ta-da! Vaseline to lubricate our O-rings. And a green sponge, small green sponge, hopefully to clean the transducer. Um, we will see how that goes. Alright, so the instructions say to, um, let's see, to lubricate the O-rings in your blanking plug first. So here are the two O-rings. Uh, this is a brand new blanking plug. We actually had to order one because when our transducer got installed, we don't know what happened to the blanking plug. Um, this has been a learning process for us because we didn't know any better. So... Going to Vaseline the blanking plug. Get the O-ring nice and lubricated so that we won't have any leaks, hopefully. Of course, the goal is to bring as little water as possible in here. brought a rag to clean my hands, but that's okay. Alright. Now, the next step is to remove the insert from the housing and unscrew the cap nut, which will jack out the insert. So, you know, it says C figure, but of course the figure doesn't show you what the cap nut is, so I'm kind of guessing here. Alright, so, got the blanking plug. And uh, we will see how this goes. A little nervous. I told David maybe he should do this project with me at first, but now I've read the instructions. I feel like I may be able to do this myself. Hopefully. David is right above me, so you know he can hear my screams if anything goes wrong. That is totally unscrewed. And not coming out. What is going on here? Whoop, there we go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you, bud. Woo! <laughs> that was exciting. 
That was definitely more pressure than I thought it would be. And more force to get that to close or to open. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that was fun. And it looks like this blanking plug is working well. So I hope I got all that on film because that was rather exciting. Um, so here we go. Here's the blanking or here's the transducer. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty gross. Mm, I'm glad I pulled it out. Definitely have some shellfish growing here. Which is preventing our paddle wheel from turning. So we're going to have to clean that out and clean all this gunk up. Okay, so I'm wrapping up this project now. Um, here you can see the transducer. Uh, it's definitely got a lot less shellfish growing on it than it did before. The paddle wheel is now freely turning. I also added two tools to this project. Um, I used my pocket knife uh, to help get hard stuff off the paddle wheel and the area around it. I also used paper towels to get uh, slimy stuff off the transducer. I'm not going to clean the bottom of the bilge until I get the transducer back in. Um, I need to use the Vaseline and lubricate it. Lubricate the O-ring on the transducer, which is right here. So, do, do, do. so, I get to do this all over again. I have the transducer ready to go. Wedge myself in here. And it does take more force as I learned the first time to get all this out. Okay. So learning from my first experience, once I get this popped out, I'm just going to ditch it in the build. Okay, so now it's popped up. I'm going to pull it out and switch them quickly. There we go. And tighten it up. And voila. Okay, I'm back. Um, two things. One, this is the blanking plug based on a recommendation from the internet. I've tied a uh, fishing, fishing line to it, just using a bowline knot. I'm going to tie the other end of the fishing line to the transducer. Transducer is attached via the wires. Um, hopefully it won't go anywhere, but just in case, this blanking plug is right nearby in case we need it. Now the other thing I realized as I was looking at this, that I put the transducer in the wrong way. This arrow is supposed to be pointing forward of the boat, and right now it's facing the starboard side. So, I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to turn it. So, let's see here. It, I may have to pull it all the way out again, which is not cool because I just cleaned, but I'm going to try unscrewing it a bit. And yeah, now I'm turning it, now I'm screwing it back in. <laughs> okay, that's now facing the right direction. Did get a little bit of water in, so I will have to clean again. Um, that's how you change your transducer. I made this video because I couldn't find a video of how to change this particular transducer. Um, so I hope that someone will watch the video and not be too too concerned about doing it on their own thanks for watching